When I was in elementary school, I would always talk about how one day I wanted to be a Lego master model builder. And my parents were like, that's cute, Robbie, you should go to school and you should go to college and get good grades and be a responsible adult. And here I am being a responsible adult, but still getting to fill my childhood passion of playing with Lego bricks. So we're here inside the model shop. We have a collection of more than three million Lego bricks. We have some really rare colors here like plated gold, where Lego actually made gold bricks. All in all, we have more than 70 colors to work with here in the model shop. You know, the ideas start in someone's imagination and they get it down however they can, whether they use a computer or a pencil and paper. So right now I'm working with the Model Shop special proprietary computer drawing software. It's just like any kind of CAD program that you'd use in an architecture firm or at an art studio, except ours is based in Lego bricks. It allows us to build 3D with bricks and you can get way up close and you can see on the inside where all the bricks would be. You can also zoom out and get a great overview of your model. Here we have one of the Guardian Dragons from LEGO Ninjago World. We installed one of these this morning, but this just gives you a feel for what the model is going to look like. So when it comes time to build the LEGO model using what we've done here on the computer, we'll take this screen and it shows the model in slices and it shows a slice for every LEGO layer of plate. Now what we'll do is we'll scroll up one layer at a time and every time we scroll up one layer, we'll build those LEGO bricks and those LEGO plates. The Guardian Dragon we installed this morning, we estimate it has about 77,280 bricks. You know, in the model shop we work as teams, so it would take one person nearly a month to build that dragon. We're all master model builders, but each of us has strengths. We can all do everything, but some of us do certain things better than others. Robbie's really great at, at replicating buildings. I'm kind of the greeble and snot guy, and snot stands for studs not on top when you build studs sideways. So whenever there's a mosaic that's got some crazy lines and stuff in it, they always give it to me. Well, right now we're redoing the New York area and I've built two subway stations. So this station is modeled after, after one that has a very intricate mosaic. Um, what I had ended up doing was jumping every plate a half a step. So you've got this really very tight integrated mosaic that's not very commonly done. There's a big sense of relief when you see kids and guests and families enjoying everything that we've worked so hard to build. It's one thing because we want to inspire kids when we're building our models, but it's another to see it happen. To see a kid's eyes light up when he gets to look at one of those dragons and say, I could totally build that at home. And he could.